In this video, we're going to check out how we can use Qt Designer files, .ui files, in our development. So, in the previous video, we created this awesome UI here uh, called My First UI, which has a button and it has some signal, a signal there that closes when we click the button. These are the versions that we are using right now for this video and we're going to see how we can load the UI file which is right here when we saved it this is what we got we're going to see how we can load this into memory and load it directly uh, on PyQt on PyQt 6 and on uh, PySide 6 and then we're also going to check how we can turn this into a actual Py uh, file so for this example I wrote all the code already in this little file here calling, called loading UI files so that we can quickly go over everything and the video doesn't get too long. We're going to start with the first and simplest example which is PyQt6 loading from memory. So very easy we got that UI file right there in the same folder that this file is and all we do is we have to import this module straight from PyQt6 so UIC from that module we can call the method load UI and pass in our file name and that's enough so I'm just importing queue application so I have an application we always need one and then I'm making my window to be uh, basically the the UI main window that we created on the Qt designer so if I control B this or F7 here we go and remember we had we created the signal that when we press the button it closes so that's working and that's fine and super easy to understand super easy super clean let me just comment that in and now here down here okay so so that we don't instead of loading it from memory you can also create um, a pi file from your UI file using this by UIC6 or by UIC5 if you're using PyQt5 and I'm just gonna copy this code out and basically what I'm saying is turn this UI file uh, dash O and uh, into this uh, Py file dash O I can't remember what it is but you can look for uh, PyUIC6 under the documentation if you're interested in more uh, different commands that you can apply so I'm just going to quickly copy this and I'll right click here open containing folder so you got to do this where the files are so this is the file that I want to convert so if I just press here and say CMD to go to the command prompt and bring my command prompt over here make it a little bit bigger for us and then if I just paste that code and if you keep your eyes here as I press enter you'll see that the new file gets created right there my first UI Pi. Okay, so uh, Pi UI C6, if you want to know where that is and what it is, we can see, we can do where Pi UI C6, and that will show you where you got it. I got the, the, the one for um, Python 3.9 and the one for Python 3.10, and it's an uh, executable file that takes arguments. Okay, so now we have this py file which is basically uh, this compiled into python all right and this is it this is the file right here you can see that it imports imports qt core um, qt gui and qt uh, widgets and then in here all we have it's a class called ui main window and a setup ui okay so if I hide that and then we have retranslate UI that gets called inside of setup UI. So this is what happens when you compile an XML file from Qt Designer into uh, a Py file. And these are the methods that we're going to be calling. We're going to be constructing this. And then we're going to call this to set up the UI and get the UI ready for us to do stuff with it. Now we can subclass these um, this object that's not what I'm gonna do here we we can look at subclasses later on in the in the video series in this example what I did so let me just uncomment this 
and there's some unnecessary stuff here that I'll, I'll let's go through this so first of all I'm gonna use I'm gonna need a queue application and a queue main window so the first thing I do is I import that file by doing import okay and I could also do from my first UI import UI main window and then construct the object after that of course this is just a, a little wrapper because uh, we did the uh, main window in in Qt uh, in Qt Designer. Let me just go to Qt, and if I do a file new here, you can see that we can select a main window or we can select a widget. And of course, there's also dialog with buttons. So we're not going to use any of that, uh, but usually it's just going to be main window and widget. And this will give us a different output. Right, so if it's widget, it, instead of main window, you'll have UI form. So let me open this up again. So here, instead of UI, main wi U UI main window, you'll have UI form. That's why I did this. I'm just checking if it, if uh, our object, our file there, our module there, has uh, an attribute of UI, UI main window. If it does, I'll say that UI equals the UI main window. If it doesn't it's a UI form. I'm just do. I just did this so you can make these more reusable uh, when you're loading stuff like this. But all we had to do is just use that. Anyway, we start an application. We create the main window here, and then we initialize using setup UI. Okay, so that's setup UI right there. And this is Sublime Text 4. So click. Click, uh, control click on the on tabs does that, which is awesome. So we initialize it and we parent uh, the our UI. So accessing that UI main window, running that setup, and passing in uh, the UI because it asks for uh, a main window. So uh, that's done, and then we can access existing elements. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to UI, which I already initialized. And then I'm asking for push button. Now this push button, what, where does this come from? This push button is what we did here. We just added a push button, so it was named push button. It's right there, object name, push button. Okay, we could, if I change this, then I, I would have to redo that file. Now this file, I should go over this. It says here, this file it says that any manual changes to this file will be lost when um, PyUIC is run again, okay? So you don't want to change this file. Okay, and uh, that will produce the same result. Okay, and my awesome button because I printed out the text of the button. I accessed the button and printed this text. So by access accessing that button, I could also um, do things like connect it to different functions and whatnot. And I can also grab this UI and add stuff to it uh, as I please or uh, change anything that is inside using this method. Okay, so that's it for PyQt6. So if you're using PyQt6, you're sorted. If not, watch the next video. In the next video, we're going to uh, go over how we can do the same thing using PySite6. If you just landed in this video, you can check out the description below that will take you to the playlist that we're currently on. I'll see you in the next video.